All right, I can't really wait to make this video. I know if I wait like four days, you know, I can celebrate Technoblade's anniversary. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm talking about Timeworks, dude. But Timeworks is always late. Look how how late Timeworks is. Look how fucking late this guy is. Dream face reveal seven days ago. So on December 20. It was fucking two months ago, dude. I oh, no. Wait. October, November. December. So two and a half months ago. Very interesting. It's not that difficult to film a, a React video, right? It's almost like he's doing that on purpose, for some reason. It's like, I, I don't know how time works, guys. I post videos two, two months later. And it's still relevant, guys. Also, his views are tanking like crazy, dude. This is not normal viewership, dude. Uh, how does his year look like? I'm very curious. Stat-wise. Uh, I want to check the entire year. So, there's no changes here. But this just uh, last uh, six... Uh, I can only do half year. No changes, to be honest. It's not going down significantly. Nah. All right. I guess there's no reason to panic. Uh, what is this uh, power level? Mm -hmm. 30 days. 27. Let's look into it, boys. Should I have him on the list is the question. The power level. Between Tana and Poppy, what a what a sandwich, boys. Mm -mm. Actually, next to Zeddy. I actually think Zeddy's now uh, at twenty eight. 31, actually. So, not Zeddy. Maybe a channel with, uh, you know, 40 subscriber, 40k subscribers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next to that one. Alright. Mr. Timeworks. You definitely deserve to be in the low bracket. And definitely deserve to exist. Because of our little competition thingy going on. He might win this year as well. And his YouTube Rewind is going to be the most watched this year as well. And uh, definitely the most hated. <laughs> I'll make sure of that. There's, there's no question there. I don't care how many subs he has. Uh... And that is uh, 27k, boys. Have fun, bro. So, uh, yeah. He ruled YouTube last year because I couldn't do it. But I can always, you know, go back in time and kick some ass anyways. And still make a better YouTube rewind. I, I will remind you guys why I make... The best YouTube rewind. And react to it and tell you a little bit about what happened. So let's watch my part. Let's watch it again in slow motion. Yeah, this is not how you feature creators. Yeah, that's me. So the th Yeah, yeah, go on, boys. <laughs> and uh, don't worry, guys. Very similar stuff is happening with the amateur uh, YouTube rewinds. They just kind of flash some creators in there. Oh, you know, I have less subscribers and I give you too much credit. No problem.
zero subscribers here you go buddy <sighs> he doesn't even compare with anything dude with anything within his bracket Zeddy only has 50k but this some dedicated fan base dude I got this guy to comment on me and I, I didn't check out what this was. He was just, you know, pissed off like a casual little dude. But his ego is inflated because he has like uh, 3k, uh, 4k subs. Alright. And I didn't know what to, what that was. It was under Timeworks video, by the way. The rewind stuff. And uh, it, it works, right? I, I, you know, attracted something. But uh, I open his channel and it's YouTube poop. So he gives brain damage to people for a living. I'm not going to show you his videos because uh, that's not my thing to do. To show YouTube poop. Unless it actually has like meaning. Like Technoblade's dad YouTube poop uh, is a disgrace to the channel. So... <laughs> To the rest of the channel and the rest of the quality of the channel that never happened before you know technoblade used to do very thoughtful videos i would say and that was just uh out of the loop man and kind of incriminates technoblade's dad at the same time i'm not gonna lie it's very spicy uh so uh let's look into YouTube Rewind 2022 and let's see what kind of people have tried to make one. Uh, you guys, I could react to everything which includes random kids YouTube Rewind, which, uh, you know, I found and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna join your Discord and I'm still there. I guess we kind of respect each other. But because he's crossing the line of, like, having ten times more subs than I do. Nah. But, honestly, maybe once he crosses the line of, like, having a bigger Discord, I don't know. I don't know what I like that much. Having subs is not exactly big deal, but it is, it is a deal. It is something tradable in a way. You know, if... If you respect your competition, you don't just uh, take advantage that you're ahead. You know, and make things a little bit more fair. Uh, so, uh, random kids over here. You're in search. They still do that shit? Google, what the hell are you doing? Two minutes, maybe it has... Uh, a lot you know, of copyrighted secret, music. And I don't know what's on yeah, it does. I'm going to make a bet on myself. I guess I'm kind of looking at this as a sort of rebirth opportunity. I just quit my job and flew to Scotland with no money or plans or friends. This is day one of me exercising every day. I've really gone and done it now. It's a bone farm. Google, what the fuck, man? Uh, where's the explanation video? Oh, you don't have one, because you're retarded. Of course. You know, the, the, this is a two-minute... This is, this is what I would do. It's what I would do with my channel. Ignorito. If I wanted to be ignored. And cancelled. Yeah, I'm really liking how my hair's been going. I feel like we're on the verge. No, my, my Ignorita can squeeze more value in two minutes, man. Way more value. Especially if I wanted to make uh, a rewind-ish thing. By the way, they're not even showing any stats. They're just showing some fucking TikToks. That look... That look they, they're old school TikToks with old people. <laughs> what is this, Google? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Holy shit, man. Technically, I am scared of old people. 
So we need to know what they say, you know. And we get we gotta capture the vibe. You know. <laughs> Holy crap, man. That is Okay, okay, the spike is when the young people show up. So we skip the old people. Cause who cares, right? Well I care. Let's watch it again. Even though it's a risk Can I, I change? I'm gonna Can change what, dude? To make a bet on myself. I guess I'm kind of looking at this as a sort of rebirth opportunity. You should have done that a long time ago, bro. I just quit my job and flew to Scotland with no money or plans or And uh you were screwed. Can I change my life? Never. You can only improve, my friend. You can only improve. Changing is for losers. Friends. This is day one of me exercising. You cannot change yourself and your personality stays exactly the same. You can only improve and understand better of how your personality works. What are your weaknesses and strengths? What you should be doing with your life? All right, I I can answer your googled questions, no problem, guys. Are they keep googling things? They keep googling things. Very nice Google. Keep googling things. Can I change careers? That's a tough one, cause uh, you know I started this YouTube rewind, and I'm like, oh, that's that's the thing I want to do. You know, when you get paid. You just grind until you have enough money to retire. You, you don't think I'm changing careers. Like, unless someone offers you something better. You should be looking for something better just to tip off your, you know, managers and whatever. To make sure that you can escape. That you can, uh, you know, potentially find something better to hop onto. That will potentially pay you a lot more because uh, all, you already have experience and it's... Uh, but changing on you have to like really calculate this whole thing and you have to really want to change and maybe it's not because of the money but because it's a better job uh, it's something more of what you want and that's a, that's really important especially in the age of technology you know whatever you're comfortable with so it is a tough question right now for me to answer uh for now, I just sit here. I don't have a career. I wish I had one. I don't know what it is. I don't even know what it is. I'm just speculating uh, based on, uh, you know. Yeah, but mostly you can't change because you can only get fired and probably Elon, Elon Musk is about to fire you very soon. Or automation is going to fire you. And we're all going to be screwed. All right. So I don't know what the fuck a career is. I guess career can also include things that don't actually pay you, you know, because we're not talking about a job here. But this is, uh, yeah, bought a farm. Oh, very nice. I've really gone and done it now. All right. Yeah, that's that's what a man gotta do. You gotta buy problems. I just took the leap. Yeah, I'm really liking how my hair. Uh, and your name is Karen? Can you change... Can I change my style, dude? Yes, it's quite easy. Uh, first of all, you have to translate style into vibe. And whatever message you want to send out to the world constantly changes. And your vibe constantly changes. Uh, you have to make sure it doesn't change too fast. So people get the message, but it also, you know, does in fact change and uh, express something meaningful. If it doesn't express anything meaningful, there's no point in having a style to begin with. It's been going. I feel like we're on the verge of a renaissance. Yeah, Generation 2 YouTube. Uh... What? I, why is there a missing word that I don't know? <laughs> it's Generation 2, dude. Renaissance. Or, uh, before we have it, we're gonna check if YouTube is a good platform for us. So, you, you know, we're gonna make a 
social media blackout before that renaissance you know dark ages are upon us we'll see you know i'll i'll build up the prediction as we go but it looks pretty interesting it's scary for a lot of people but very interesting to me and whoever subscribes and follows my community it's gonna be interesting it's it's like in two years maybe three years social media blackout like it's gonna be nasty dude okay so but there's still old people dude it didn't change can i be original bro bruh uh yes but at what cost it's very difficult to actually find a path that you can cross where nobody else crossed as long as you just expressing yourself and your emotions you don't even have to care whether you're original or not you just have to do what you gotta do. Spread the love, man. Please say to do what you love. Yeah. And not to do what haven't been done before. Alright. Never been done before. Five mil subscribers. I don't know. I don't know, man. Forget about uh, Jake Paul, man. And I love the dance. Whoa, 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 wait. That was fast, dude. How to find my passion. That... That's a tough one. Uh, you know, you work on things that you're passionate about, um, that kills your boredom. You know, and... You just battle with boredom and you find a lot of passions. Uh, cause, uh... Everyone has in common that one thing. We have to fill in our time with something that's actually positive, useful, you know, valuable in, in our lives. It's a very tough challenge, and everyone has to do it. All right, and whoever's not doing it, we're gonna kick them out of society, dude. Whoever's causing brain damage, we're gonna kick them out. So, uh, finding a passion could also be your passion by the way uh and pe people have to find passions every day but uh yeah you have to have methods you have to have strategy it's a very tough thing to do and if you just uh end up dancing i don't know man you're gonna be a dancing banana in our society and uh bananas are consumable <laughs> unfortunately they're just waiting to be consumed hey hey guys look at me i'm a banana yeah very nice how to be spontaneous man well you just allow yourself to do whatever that's what's like you, you need a tutorial for that are you kidding me but because we live under a lot of social pressure we don't actually understand that internet allows us to do whatever we want and react to whatever we want and say whatever we want and once we allow that once we start getting the ball rolling on just bouncing around and doing whatever and finding more tools to do whatever obviously uh, but again, it's more about passion. Uh, spontaneous, dude. You, yeah, you gotta let go and allow yourself to do mistakes because you're gonna learn from mistakes. And most of the time, you're actually gonna be doing less mistakes than other people to begin with. And for me, I probably make zero mistakes. Even when I make mistakes, it's, it's not a mistake. It's still above average, you know. Once you're above average, your mistakes don't even count anymore. So you can literally do whatever you want. How to be more positive. Uh, don't. Don't be more positive. 
That's the way you're going to be more positive. Don't be nice. Be respectful. All right? Because if you keep clogging up your emotions and you're not going to express this, your true emotions or be honest, uh, because you, you, you don't want to live with demons, you know? You're going to be like, okay, you get a little bit of this demon, a little bit of this demon. You keep sharing your demons. Like, okay, you, you get this demon and people will, will remember you for that. They will not like you at first because nobody likes a stranger, but that's the way to do it, all right? To be more positive, you can't force anything, all right? Force is not the solution, dude. A more beautiful thing. Have you any fun yet? How to become a fighter pilot. Okay, so uh, I definitely have a tutorial for that. And uh, I just need to think really hard. And uh, yes, this is... Uh, well, if you remove the pilot part. But, you know, you have to understand... Internet is quite a vehicle of its own. You can just sit, sit next to your computer in your seat and uh, start piloting quite insane vehicles of uh influence basically and uh you're not you don't want to fight actual wars you want to engage in uh you know uh thoughtful conversations if possible you try to enforce that all right try and force to change people's minds by influencing them before it's too late you know there's always pending doom you want to save as many people as possible. You want to touch as many people as possible if you are in fact positive. And you don't, you don't do that by dropping bombs. You just uh, you want to influence them. So maybe don't become a fighter pilot on the internet. Maybe become a, an ice cream truck pilot. You know. Having any fun yet? Yeah, 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 dude. How to be a better friend, boys. Uh, so that's what Google should have done. It's like, make a video answering these questions. And let's see who wins. You know? Who is the cooler person on, on YouTube? Who is, who is our CEO? Yes? Yes, please. Application for CEO. Alright. How to be a better friend. Uh... So yeah, Google should have asked. Yeah, should have asked. And uh, gave me a contract. I will not answer you how to be a better... But, you know, you... Better friend? Well, uh... First of all, you need to... Be able to find friends. And, uh... I don't, I don't even know that's possible, by the way. You look at this stuff like uh, it's it's glorious, guys. You could think so that other people do. It's it's crazy, but they don't actually talk to each other. They're just there for the money, you know, for the flash effect, for the influence, whatever. So uh, friendship is actually quite a non-existent thing. All right, and no nobody asked this question by the way. All right, Google is just making shit up right now. At this at this point. Uh, but if you ask me how to improve friendship, you just spend time with that person. And it doesn't even matter how. You don't even have to do it directly. You can just take their content, but uh, try to help them. There's like four ways to do it. Uh, be entitled to each other. Or just spend time. How to start again. It's a tough one because I, I, I've already told you guys, you improve, you don't start again. But, uh, you know, eventually you're gonna try and climb all the way. Just like I do, in the end of the year, everything just gonna crash and restart. And uh, I'm gonna focus more on, more on reviewing videos rather than reviewing this nonsense. So, 
but normally you can't really start again can you you still but you you must understand like okay you, your skills are way more important that than what you do what you do can actually change and be restarted technically but again it's not something you should be doing it's just you know you release the tension in the end of the year and it's still not a start again button unfortunately you just continue continue what you have been doing uh and even if it's slightly different it's it's not a new start either so i don't know what this is guys is this a fighter pilot again? Is this we don't talk about Bruno again? We don't Google about Bruno? Trio is back. This is dedicated to Can I create change? So uh, I hope this is Will Smith uh, waiting for a victim to slap. You know, <laughs> that's the way you create change, man. You get, give a person game over screen uh, for insulting your wife or whatever. Which, uh, you know, I wouldn't have a bold wife, I don't think. I would at least force her to wear a wig. Because there's a lot of colorful and cool wigs to wear. So, I don't know, man. Maybe Will Smith deserved to, to slap and actually lose himself. Which is fantastic. Uh, of how cryptic it is. Oh, you're talking about something different? You literally just... Uh, Talked about a bunch of changes. You should have started with that one. You will never know how to create change. You just have to live your life, dude. Like, what the hell? This is dedicated to the disabled community. You must, uh... Well, like myself, I actually... Uh, you know, research influence. So, uh... I kind of know what change is. But you don't really get to see it that easily you know you have to wait for it and you can't wait you have to keep doing things you know so you won't see change anytime soon uh but uh you know this is this is quite a change growth is change you know my channel is growing a little bit each time i hope maybe not anymore in fact, uh, I'm still being ignored quite a bit, but, you know, uh, you know, there, there's plenty of ways to be influential, I mean, uh, and that's all you need to focus on, or you just live your life, and earn money and don't care about anything why would you want to create a change are you frustrated about something like i am the but you know if you can do something you can spend time creating something like this for yourself but this is like really exhausting and difficult and uh very likely impossible too but uh you know, once you learn how to be influential, how to be respectful, uh, you will get opportunities over time. And maybe you'll see change over time. Who knows? I'm still struggling with this thing. Um, but really, really, the question is, what do, you, what do you want to do? You're not being specific? I'm sorry, dude. The disabled community, this is our moment. I wanted other women and other people of color to know it is possible. Can I go to space? No, because space is fake and pointless. And other women of color have to know that that's the case, unfortunately. Oh my god, I'm a little bit of an astronaut right now. And it means absolutely nothing. By the way, you can go into like near space, but not actual space. All right. Potentially, we can't even leave into space. Because nobody actually did. You think like we reached the moon? 
Well, it's debatable. So we didn't. If something is debatable, it didn't happen. And uh, most importantly, all of this stuff is just ridiculously pointless. Like going to the top of the mountain Everest, which is littered with dead bodies and feces and other crap. All right. So I'm sure a lot of people want to do that. And uh, I give a uh, green light for that one. So do, do your space thingy, guys. And invest a lot of money into the space thingies. Can you level up? Well, uh, there's four levels. And uh, you can't. Unless you actually exist. Le level? What the fuck is level up mean? Well, level up technically is adopting new tools and keep improving the tools that you have. Uh, once you adopt a new tool, it doesn't level you up yet. You have to first adopt it. It has to go through full cycle, and then it's a level up. You can celebrate the like, wow! I I really, I really have this now, and I am definitely proud on on my button game, boys. And Google is not a part of it. There you go, Google. I spawned you. Congratulations! I'm so proud of this thing, cause uh. Who knows how it's going to be different next year? You know, there's still a few more features. But technically, if you go through full cycle, you kind of uh, stop improving that tool. Maybe there's more applications you can do with it. But it's kind of uh, the end. But there's still layers and layers on top. So if more people join in, they might need different applications for themselves. So your, if you have a unique tool or unique ways to use a tool, there's a lot of things like that. It, it all comes down to tools, basically, your ability to level up uh, tools. Because uh, tools are required for having skills. Like throughout history, it all comes down to tools. And uh, most importantly, throughout Minecraft, you know, in Minecraft, you don't actually level up. You just get better tools and better equipment, which is kind of interesting, right? A world record of, of pooping yourself as fast as possible. I was a little girl. All I wanted to see was me. Were, were you a little girl or a chubby girl? Is the question. In the media. Change has become a constant. The way we Where, where's the goddamn Googling? It's coming? It's better be coming. Defines our future. I've never seen this kind of courage. Oh, oh, oh. Dude. How to be fearless. My personality is fearless. But, in order to be fearless, for me, I have to be uh, completely safe from anything happening. Alright. And then I also have to not really fear death because, uh, you know, life sucks so bad that you don't really fear death. But the moment I will have something, that means I am not the only person around all right i can actually lose something that then i will start having fears uh, and it's just an indication of uh having resources versus having power but technically you look into the world like you don't hear people dying left and right like your friends are alive so i guess it doesn't like people respect people's property and all that stuff so uh society kind of makes sure that nothing terrifying happens but you still have to be ridiculously careful even andrew tate is a ridiculously paranoid human being and uh he's like type of dude that should look like fearless but he has to go with like six other bodyguards uh in order to survive so <laughs> It's a thing. It's definitely a thing. 
But again, if you focus on my personality, the reason why I'm fearless, not only I keep myself safe, but I just have common sense and I don't get in trouble in general. When I want to do something, I do something, and I know if I want to do a little bit more than that, I should have been prepared. And uh, it has to be within my reach, and if it's not within my reach, I have to try again later, unfortunately. Everything has to be planned and prepared, and uh, if things go wrong, if the vibes are wrong, uh, if people drag you to wrong places, and you don't feel comfortable, there's a good reason for that, alright? It might haunt you in the future anyways. Even if you do not get in trouble to begin with, just, just don't do what feels really off. And that's not fear, that's holding fear. All right, and even retreating is not fear. All right, fear is something uh, that slowly another person realizes that you have, and you're leaking out, basically. Fear is like indecisiveness, when other people can manipulate you. It's a resource that is used to use you, basically, from other people's perspective. Yeah. Once you fear something, you will start letting go of things you have. And uh, in order to be fearless, you have to really like and appreciate things that you have. Then you will not be able to lose them. Uh, that easily you'll fight for them. And nobody really wants to get into a fight against a fearless individual, which is why you would Google something like this. They're fighting with all they have. Slow, no, not... There's... I'm not sure if it was reasonable to fight. Because, uh, you know, but... It's pretty fun to see uh, Russians being dumped into a grinder of people just dis defending themselves. Because defending yourself is slightly easier than actually attacking. I don't know. But uh, the real problem is that the wars are perpetrated by stupid-ass people who could just be sniped. And uh, the world would be a much peaceful place. Just like, you know, you see a Hitler, you snipe a Hitler. Alright? It and, and the end of wars, man. Whoever is perpetrating wars uh, have to be eliminated immediately. We don't even have to question that stuff. Alright, we just send a missile, poof. Bye-bye, dude. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. And it's not about inciting violence. No, it's about literally preparing for war and being that that sort of leader you know S solving problems that way you know once the leader is eliminated it's it's game over because he cannot speak to the people anymore people will just be confused of like oh who's this guy but while they still have putin it's like it's pretty cringe stuff i'm not gonna lie freedom right now means a lot for us Like with this, such a advanced technology that we have, like we can't just send a super targeted missile. Well, we can't because oh, it's gonna start a much bigger war. Well, now it's we keep the perpetual war that already started, and uh, in fears that we're gonna start a bigger war. Like, what are you talking about, dude? Uh, but that means that we don't really have the technology, because we're full of fear. And this little shit can threaten nuclear weapons and still not get in trouble, you know? Still! This could be the beginning of a new era. You know, I, I call it evolution. Can I evolve? Well, uh, you have to eat a lot of uh, Pokemon candy of some kind. Evolve, man. I mean, going from generation 1 to generation 2 is uh, a crazy-ass evolution. I'm not gonna lie. How does it look like, though? Taking a step back. Um, 
All right, so generation one is like a little kid that allows himself to do whatever he wants. Uh, he picks up the, you know, toys that he really likes and he keeps improving his skills and showing other kids how to do stuff, sharing, influencing, all that stuff. So YouTube has been about being a kid in a playground, not really taking things seriously, being nice to each other because, you know, you don't want you don't want to lose your toys by being not nice. It's like your your toys is useless. My toys is so much my toy is so much better. If you exaggerate how good your toy is, you're gonna lose it because someone will want to want uh, want to take it from you. That's why you're being nice. But slowly, there's more security, there's more establishment, there's more resources for people who are influencers. And uh, this thing is shutting down, this playground. We can't just not take things seriously anymore. Especially when people create videos that cause brain damage. All right. And children are just like gobbling that stuff up. All right. Yes, above 14 years old or whatever is defined as a not child child or a teenagers technically. And... uh because they don't see meaning, they only see uh, stuff, right? Stuff happening on the screen. Uh, in fact, the more meaningless, the better. All right. The more meaningless, the more twisted, but still meaningless. I like twisted but meaningful stuff, and people uh, basically hate me, you know. But I know what these people are. These people are just children uh, who actually need to grow up. I, I had plenty of comments telling me to grow up, but uh, if you don't have reasons, if you don't have arguments against me, you literally don't exist, dude. You literally don't exist. I look into other people's channels and I have not seen anything close to a competition. So people will need to evolve. All right. Now, uh, I need to evolve in real life. I'm struggling in real life. That's why I have the power to, you know, be ahead of the curve when it comes to YouTube game. But in real life, I'm a little bit of a loser. Uh, you know, people would call me an insult. But right now, it's not an insult anymore. Uh, everyone's struggling, essentially. In the end, I'm like super lucky at the same time. Like ridiculously lucky. Maybe it's all by design, but uh, I can't take it for granted because I didn't create none of the stuff that I have. So yeah, while I can see the future, I can tell you guys... Uh, okay, so what is going to be the difference? So you go from the kid to a respectful individual that can uh, have conversations with other people, can connect, you know, can share toys whenever they want in a proper manner not for money I actually exchange toys skills time all kinds of resources can be exchanged but if we cannot hold a conversation we can't do that all right and if that doesn't happen on the internet in real life it's it's a very rare occurrence too i would imagine all right people force it in order to build a business and do all these things but uh every platform needs to like go from that into next stage evolution is a serious thing and it takes uh around 15 years to do for a generation to evolve and once youtube evolves there has to be something to replace it with because there has to be a playground uh as well for children to go to and it probably is not going to be YouTube, but because we have TikTok, we can just leave TikTok to people. Evolution. This is what believing looks like. And don't you... Uh, believing is flashing. Is anything possible? Yeah, pretty much. But you have to also involve dreams, fantasy... Uh, magic, all these things that seemingly are impossible, seemingly are very hard to explain. Uh, 
you can't really lie to yourself, but you know, there's definitely rules of life, patterns that repeat gravity, uh, things that you can't really uh, change because you're not some superhero with superpowers. However, uh, you don't need to care about that stuff, all right? Most of the stuff that you cannot change, you don't care about. You know, well, you're a human being, you cannot turn into a cat. So, uh, but you can still dress up like a cat and act like a cat. And uh, it's just like, what are you trying to achieve? It's like, that's what you have to focus on, is the achievement, the meaning part. And I think all 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 meaning can be achieved. All right, you can still even make a cat digitally, maybe even make a robot cat. And if you made it, that's technically you. It's just you cannot be conscious about being the cat because you, you probably don't need to anyways. Uh, yeah, so... But, but like achieving these trophies, I don't know, man. That's cringe. That's cringe, dude. You shouldn't chase after rewards. Uh, you shouldn't chase after competitions and try to be the best. All right? Because we know that's possible, but for one person in the end. All right? For one person. And uh, you don't know if you're going to be that person and if it's worth trying so hard. You have to win your own way, your natural way. All right. Yeah. And eventually you will feel a, a winner like myself. I feel like a YouTube CEO already because I see no competition. I see nobody on my level whatsoever. And I'll keep grinding because I keep improving myself despite not getting that much attention back. But uh, while I still grow, uh, I'm still motivated. The moment I stop growing, I'll start doubting myself and... Maybe I'll have to do something else, but I will keep the title until competition shows up because I have to constantly beat my competition. And uh, so far, I'm just stacking the amount of work that I have to do. So essentially, I might not even be able to change my mind, but based on statistics, I will start doubting myself. So, uh, yeah. Now, now with the internet, a lot more is possible, and you can imagine... Technology will allow more and more things possible, but you see, like that—that that was not the not not the point uh, for humanity. But at the same time, even more things are possible. There's a possibility that past has never really existed, and it's all fake. There's so many possibilities, like other people don't exist, but only you do. That you are God, possibility, and after death. Death, you're just gonna go back, and death is just a, a choice, basically, to return and being God. You do, you don't know, all right. You don't know what's beyond life. Beyond life, then potentially everything is possible. Beyond life, all right. Beyond li life's boundaries. But you know, you sign up uh, this random contract, randomly generated contract of living a life which is much more meaningful than not doing that. Just playing God in whatever realm there is. You still want to create a consciousness that is capable of interacting with things, capable of being challenged, capable of dying, essentially. So, uh, it's, a, it's an interesting question, right? Like, and don't you ever, ever give up on you. I actually am giving up on this video and myself, and uh, I'll have to leave you guys. Yeah, so this is the, the main event, I guess, and then we're gonna review a bunch of, you know, YouTube poops that call themselves YouTube Rewinds. To everyone who sees not what the world is, but what it can be, Oh, thanks, Google. Thank you for uh, your message to me and literally nobody else out there.
to to everyone. Mm. Ah, very interesting. Yeah. It's always a positive year if you survive it, so congratulations on surviving another year, in case you did. It's fantastic. Now, uh, will the next year be a little bit better? It wasn't bad this year for me. But 2021 is go gonna be always the worst year because my freedoms were taken away from me randomly. And isolation that year is like really bad. But you must understand that isolating years is not uh, a practice you should focus on because uh, it does ruin your uh, ability to enjoy life. I would imagine even it's a tough one uh, just isolating bad events in general and focusing on bad events is actually bad vibes as well it's really bad vibes so when I look at yes society did not like these years but I don't care man every year is goddamn bad all right every year is bad there's no special years and for me, I, I had a special opportunity of not going outside or giving a fuck. I just sit here and rant. All right. And nothing happens, honestly. And that kind of sucks. And, uh, it had, and you don't see people complaining about that. All right. Unfortunately. So it's, uh, yeah, very funny. So let's look into these uh, rewinds, which uh, I don't know if there's many of them at all. What a year, 10,000 subs. Doella. People don't even know what the what hashtag to use, by the way, in order to promote their YouTube Rewind. So I literally have to, you know, create a playlist for these people to exist in. Uh, but I don't know if I care, to be honest. All right, it has to be at least as big as 100K views for it to go to YouTube Rewind content. Like, th this one would go there, because it's making off. It's a very interesting video, I would imagine. The behind-the-scenes stuff. Here you go, behind-the-scenes, behind-the-scenes, blah, blah, blah. YouTubers react. I'll take that. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm not sure which one was the best one because they don't stand out in any way. As you know, my YouTube Rewind is the best one in terms of meaning, in terms of just quality in general, of what it achieves as a YouTube Rewind. Just to give people vibes and like... It's, it's trash, dude. Mm, most people don't respond to vibes. Alright. They just gloss over it. But when it's a very meaningful YouTube Rewind that takes hours and hours to explain and understand, that shit uh, does suck in a lot of people, I would imagine, that are, are capable of people. It's quite a filter. It's quite a challenge. That's kind of why I need more subscribers, just so uh, more people challenge themselves eventually. It takes time for people to get bored and uh, grow up eventually. 
and find challenges in more challenging things. So my YouTube Rewind is a challenge to people, but at the same time it's done perfectly when it comes to featuring people. It's kind of a still image, you can actually share it with other people as a meme. And uh, when someone gets featured, like, because it's a meme and there's a lot of meaning in there, and there's a reason for that meme to exist, they can break it down in a 10 minute video or maybe 20 minute video. Uh, it's, uh, it's up to them. Everyone can participate in YouTube Rewind and inspire others to try and achieve, you know, the title of getting into YouTube Rewind next year, which is very achievable because there's a very, very specific system that I use in order to test whether a person is legit or not. They reach me, they interact with me, I give them the points, and uh, if they eliminate their competition, that's it. And so far, nobody raised a hand or tried in any way, but I haven't reached that many people to begin with. But either way is fine. You know, you do you guys, but over time I'm gonna realize you need me so much. Oh. Next year, maybe I can improve two times. Not by much, I don't think. But we'll see. You know, there's still plenty of, you know, tiny little gaps that I can improve, I can imagine, but we'll never know uh, until we get there, you know, until we start comparing the next year's rewind with the last one. We'll never know. Because it's really hard to, like, tell a difference between YouTube rewind sometimes, which one is, like, better, because it's not, like, linear growth at all when I evaluated this stuff. Uh, it goes like uh, meme-worthy, ridiculously important, in the middle, slapped right there, a dip, and uh, it just, it kind of flat lines, unfortunately. So, uh, it's very difficult it's very difficult to actually improve sometimes. I think I can do it, but it's quite a speculation. Yes, and you might like, you know, a moving picture format, because that's what videos are about, and you don't want an, a video book basically shoved in your face and be like, oh, that's YouTube Rewind. But, you know, people appreciate books too, or magazines, and this is just a video format of that, flipping through pages that, you know, it's, it could be a book, it could be a book format too, you have to appreciate that, that it could actually have a physical format, and it wouldn't be that difficult to do. So that's very uh, amazing about my rewind. You know, most uh, importantly, most people are just very biased, towards uh, events that happened um, over the year, because uh, they get to pick and choose, just like I'm biased. But the difference is that I actually embrace my bias and say, my, my YouTube Rewind is just going to be about people that I've explored and I liked. And the most important part of all, I actually put in the entire year of work into my Rewind. And uh, I wasn't really skipping days either, man. I was just fully committed. So, uh, yes, I didn't put all of my days into one video, but uh, I was working around it, you know. And it's and when it came to YouTube Rewind, I put in the most work. Clearly. Clearly. And it was not appreciated as the most work for some reason, you know. Because, uh... YouTube sucks, all right? YouTube algorithm sucks. YouTube design sucks. You can't actually uh, flex around or uh, promote your content in any way. You just have to cross your fingers and hope the kids understand what you're trying to do. Or I don't even know. 
I, I honestly don't know. Because again, I created this Ignorita channel, and it's actually successful at being ignored. Which is uh, quite crazy, I would imagine. Quite crazy. Yes, four views, but it gets those four views and people just kind of move on with their lives. Uh, and maybe my YouTube uh, content it gets uh, treated as pointless, basically. Who knows why the algorithm? I get four views. I should get at least, you know, at least 10 views. Then, then you know how to treat my content. Uh, obviously, it's very difficult to actually filter what is a real video, what is a just AI generated nonsense. Well, it's not that difficult. It co goes not through video by video basis, but channel by channel basis, a person by person, intention by intention basis. If your channel sucks, your reputation should go down. There should be a very important number displaying your reputation in general that would promote your vid videos. And, uh, you might need to clean up your channel to uh, gain back your reputation. And you can always test whether a video uh, is gonna perform well by pressing one button, setting it on fire or something, making it go semi-viral, and uh, see if you get reputation or lose reputation. So if you are very confident in your stuff, you should just press that button. But it's not there, guys. But once it's there, YouTube is going to be a completely different place. Uh, I will make uh, 50 YouTube features that I'm waiting for video. And it's definitely going to be one of, one of the features. So uh, get the hell out of here. Uh, I, I don't think I've seen this rewind. And I don't know if, I've, if there's any more rewinds, to be honest. YouTuber face reveals, really? What a year. The most triggering part, obviously, for people and why they don't give a fuck. I guess I didn't slap Mr. Beast on a thumbnail. He's still there. He's just not dominating a thumbnail. I would actually be scared to put Mr. Beast just like that. Because, you know, he he technically owns the rewind now by not without the need to own the rewinds. Maybe that's why he doesn't even make one himself. He knows he's going to be uh, on, th on the thumbnail by default. <coughs> and that's, uh, that's not exactly that exciting. To, to, to see the same dude on everyone's thumbnails. Because, uh, again, just because someone had the most subscribers, uh, just because something is statistically powerful, doesn't mean that using it is also going to be powerful, unfortunately. You know, and yeah, Mr. Beast is on everyone. Not nobody. Nobody stands out. In fact, that's how you pick the the loser, basically, for my... It contains Mr. Beast. I put Mr. B Mr. Beast into my thumbnail simply because... Yeah, I like the compet... I like Mr. Beast and PewDiePie being on the same thumbnail. And everyone else can just go screw themselves over. Uh, but it exists. Whoa. Looks, looks better than my rewind, to be honest. Better than my thumbnail. I definitely enjoyed clicking on that thing. Hmm. So I think I clicked on everything. Oh my god. New faces this year. Oh, new faces. I'm sure you explored YouTube. There's plenty of faces, my friend. Plenty. In fact, in, well, 
There's no escape from new faces, unfortunately. Czech? Or Slovakian, I think? I think that's it. What is it? Did he set something about YouTube Rewind? Honest thoughts on YouTube Rewind. Should they bring it back? No, it's is it retired forever? Yeah. How do you feel about Rewind? Definitely retired forever. Okay. They not, should not bring it back. The thing is, YouTube's massive. The thing is, your brain is small, Mr. Beast, if you see that. YouTube is massive. <sighs> right, like, dude, there's a giant community that speaks Spanish. Yes, and they can make their own rewinds if they feel like they missed out. Alright, and they were not uh, featured for whatever reason. Who cares, there's man? A giant community, and even like uh, Southeast Asia, and, and like there's so many different communities on YouTube that you have never heard of. None of them have ever heard of because yeah. we speak English. You know? Oh no! There were plenty of communities day one, dude. Don't speak their language. Like I think back in the day, it was perfect because it, it was there. You know, when Smosh hit 10 million, there wasn't many channels with 10 million. And right. It was a different era. But I think YouTube's gotten so ginormous that it is impossible. And I think you should do a rewind for tech. I think whatever, like someone in the beauty community should do a rewind for the beauty community. What about the main rewinds from the most popular dude? He. He's actually being approached in a very indirect way of like, uh, uh, will you do our rewind? Oh no? You're not gonna do rewind? Why? Oh, okay. Okay, Mr. Beast. Yeah, Mr. Beast didn't do a good job with his rewind. Beast rewind is over here, and uh, I do not appreciate it. It sucked. It sucked quite bad, actually. It's one of the worst rewinds I've seen. And, uh, People feel really good about Mr. Beast, unfortunately, and uh, I almost like feel like making a, even in my shitty Ignorito channel, I want to make a series where I just break down Mr. Beast sins, basically. And this is one of the sins of not doing YouTube Rewind, even though he could just steal it, and uh, even steal it from me and completely outshadow me. But if he's fearful, I'll take it, man. Honest thought. And that's it. That's it. Yeah. It's just fear in the end, dude. There's no rational thought behind it, guys. Uh, I know Mr. Beast is very rational and very smart, but he can only be rational and smart on limited amount of things. All right, especially when he's out there doing a lot of things at the same time. He can't just focus and sit down on one thing. He's just bouncing around all over YouTube, all over the world, technically. And, uh, is in a successful way. That's cool. I've never, we've never seen that before, but there's nothing to be proud of here. All right. From a skeptical point of view, uh, unless you have been influenced by Mr. Beast directly, there's no reason to actually feature him. Uh, slap in the middle, dude. Slap dead in the middle. Into everyone's faces. Another. Get to rewind. And another. Oh, my uploads. Fuck yeah, dude, I'll, I'll watch that one, my uploads. But this is as deep as I can go. And uh, as you can tell, we haven't seen my YouTube Rewind for some reason. My YouTube Rewind did not show up. And that's why it's not getting any views. Despite me labeling it as 2022 Rewind, it does not show up, even in the depths of of hell, basically. So YouTube is uh, kind of shadow banning me, but it's kind of not YouTube's fault, I would imagine. But I don't know what's happening. So I can blame anyone I fucking want. 
And the best thing to do is just do a board clear. You know, everyone is at fault. Literally everyone is a bunch of assholes. Because uh, I'm pretty sure my rewind is not that bad to be just in the depths of hell. I'll tell you that much. All right. No, I might look impatient, and technically that's s somewhat true. I do need to touch grass. Right now it's middle of winter, so forget about that part. Whenever I feel like it, you know, I will go outside and explore a little bit. There's potential to explore, but it's so tough, man. It is so tough to actually care about reality these days. And I, I don't know what I want to do with it. Because if I don't want to do something, there's no reason to do it, unfortunately. So, uh, right now I don't really see a reason to be patient either. Uh, I live in a very <laughs> desolate place, basically. In my mom's basement. I'm stuck, and uh, I'm still ridiculously happy about that. Alright, because I live uh, under really low amount of money to be honest i burn very little amount of money per month when it comes to most people most people would be jealous dude by that reason alone anyways welcome to our number two and now we get to the rewind section i should create chapters to my videos to that's, that would be quite an improvement. If there is like an, a super simple way to do it, I probably just need to look it up to a tutorial because I kind of automatically like do that, right? Like, okay, I, I just do this and uh, type in the nonsense. Okay, now, now we're going to get YouTube rewind thingies. And if you can just copy and paste that into video description, man. That's an easy thing, anyone can do it. But if uh, it's more complicated than that, fuck you, YouTube, I'm not doing that shit. Nice try. That, that's a good one. As a foot, ma. As a foot. <laughs> Excuse me, it's a foot. It's a foot voice. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm not showing you guys this stuff. I could technically uh, test it out a little bit and actually evaluate. We'll see what happens, boys. And by evaluate, I, I'm talking about all of these YouTube rewinds combined because none of them stick out as anything different. Alright, none of them stick out. Technically, I will be able to see like the fluctuation anyways. So maybe someone is gonna stick out as a, the best rewind that way. That is so offbeat that I, I want to buy this part of Rewind. And it's it's mine. This uh, white hair, I, I have white hair, guys. On my uh, avatar. I, I'm buying that one. I just don't know how to buy it, though. Electricity? A sword? I got none of those things, man. Also, I wouldn't wear... All black. It's fucking nonsense, man. I just have the hair. Maybe it's good enough. Let's continue. That that is very accurate because uh, going from Susan to Satan, all I have to do is replace us with at. All right, at. I don't think it's that difficult to do.
Also, uh, you guys do not deserve a dislike button, unfortunately. Because, uh... It, it doesn't work. I mean, YouTube tested the whole fucking thing. And, uh, they might not have explained it properly. But, uh, neither did you. Of why you want a dislike button. I can explain. Uh, but actually I can't. Because I don't want it myself. And I can see dislikes just fine. It works, guys. I can still see dislikes. And there's plenty of them. Alright, so if it deters some idiots from disliking, disliking my video. Uh, I'll take it, man. I'll take that. Technically, I'm not phased out, but you know, I don't want to be embarrassed if I have pie on my face. All right, I want to go home and clean myself up and not, not being laughed at constantly. You know, it's, it's a much better feeling. This one I judged too fast, because you can see I commented about it. Breathe air. I probably just skipped this thing completely. This one I'll give a like, dude. Wow, that's that's something. In one minute, it just kind of worked. One thing I didn't do is uh, talk about world events and rewind that stuff. But uh, right now, I don't want I don't want to care too much. This guy has three subbers. Should I make part two? Hmm. Still got more views than I did, though. Two minutes, yeah. This new faces this year. Honestly, it's it's the best one. Okay, my microphone cut off in the very end of the video. Are you kidding me, dude? You can take half of my video. I'll just remake it. Now it's just so so awkward. It's ridiculous. Uh, I hope if I release this video, that means I've said most of the things. This is the final score. I might have to do my a repost of my rewind and see what happens then. Uh... Because, uh, you know, my consciousness grows and I solve problems slightly differently. And I, now that I see how other people did it, you know, there's the expectation and I want to break that expectation really fast. And, uh, you know, speed run things, blah, blah, blah. Try it again. It just would be very fun to do. And uh, if it works out, it works out. Especially now... I kind of like the Ignorito channel for the fact that I can uh, speedrun things, you know. And I could uh, upload some kind of weird YouTube Rewind thingy here, but I want to do it in a, a very awkward time, I would say. Maybe three months later, something like that. Uh, but I also need a reason to upload on this channel. Because uh, that channel is only for... Uh, ridiculous things happening and i want to highlight the news basically that i find the gold shine the gold on you and then say that the channel sucks because <laughs> it's not real gold it's just a shiny 
attempt in gold. Ah, I see. YouTube Rewind is actually ahead of me. That's interesting. We're kind of rivals right now. I guess I'm not gonna bite too much. But, uh, we'll see, bruh. Yes, my Rewind is more influential than YouTube Rewind. Collectively. Alright. I think I've said everything I wanted, um... Uh, yeah, the Mr. Beast thing, I just now, now have to check out if I can actually post this video, but uh, see you guys next time.